Hi, I'm Max from Garmin, and welcome to our virtual AirVenture Oshkosh experience. I'm going to speak to you today about our retrofit autopilots, namely the GFC 500 and GFC 600. So let's start with the GFC 500. The GFC 500 is a fully featured, affordably priced autopilot for piston singles. Even though it's affordably priced, its feature set is definitely not entry level. It offers technology such as electronic stability protection, underspeed and overspeed protection, level mode approaches, including ILS and LPV approaches. It has VNAV capability. It even has optional auto trim and yaw damper servos that can be added to the system. The GFC 500 is available for over 15 families of aircraft and over 100 subtypes. The GFC 500 is truly a 21st century autopilot solution. So let's talk about a few of the features. It's attitude-based. Why attitude-based? Well, attitude-based allows the user to control an attitude or a rate depending on the mode of, of flight required. Attitude-based has precise knowledge of the absolute reference. In this case, it's sourced from the G5, or it could be sourced from a G3X, or soon to be the GI275. Rate-based systems, on the other hand, they do not have an absolute reference. They're always trying to nudge the aircraft one way or the other. An attitude-based system has precise knowledge and an extra degree of freedom that, that provides control responsiveness. So what does this mean for the pilot? It results in a precise and comfortable ride that is unmatched in retrofit autopilots. A key differentiating feature of the GFC 500 is the GSA 28. It's a brushless DC smart servo. These guys are incredible. They weigh 1.4 pounds per servo. There's no shear pin there's no slip clutch. They're less susceptible to uncommanded motion, and there's no single point of failure with these guys. They have guaranteed disengagement, which is the reason why they don't need a slip clutch. All of these factors lead to being less costly over time due to the reduced maintenance costs. They must be commanded in order to move. Simply stated, they're a reliable, lightweight, 21st century servo. The GFC 500 is an integrated system. So I'm going to take you up here to the mode controller and show you a few things. When you make heading changes on this mode controller, you can see the heading and track displayed here across the top. When I come over here and display altitude, you can see my altitude changing over here on the G5. And this is true with our G5s, our G3X Touch, really any of Garmin's displays. The system talks. An additional selling point of our GFC 500 is Garmin's continual effort to bring additional features that improve the customer experience. Now let's talk about the GFC 600 Autopilot. It is built upon the same technology as our world-renowned GFC 700 autopilot that is in our integrated flight decks. Customers like that model so much that they requested it in a retrofit capacity, which is why we produced the 500 and 600. The 600 is built for heavier in single engine piston twins and singles. It boasts standalone superior integration and let's talk about the GMC 605 mode controller here for a little bit. It offers a bright sunlight readable display. It has mark width measurement to fit in your radio stack. And let's go through a few of the buttons, the modes on it. So you see across the bottom here, you've got your heading, nav, approach, and back course lateral buttons. The vertical selections are over here with VNAV, IAS, and vertical speed. You've got your level button, altitude select, and this intuitive selectable control wheel over here on the right side. We also offer electronic stability protection, underspeed, overspeed. We discussed the level mode, 
a lot of the same modes that you have on our GFC 500 autopilot. The GFC 600 also has 21st century brushless DC smart servos that you see here. These are the GSA 87s. So they offer robust self-monitoring capability. And just like the GSA 28 servos on the 500 side, these have no slip clutch. We offer the GFC 600 for nine families of aircraft and we're increasing that number all the time. Now let's see how the GFC 600 plays out when integrated with a TXI display in a cockpit. I'm going to show you some of the VNAV integration between the TXI, the, GF, the GFC 600 mode controller, and the GTN 750XI. So over here on our GTN 750XI, we can see our graphical depiction of our arrival. And if we touch this shortcut, I'm a, I can see, I can show you every waypoint along our arrival route. And let me demonstrate quickly what it would look like to modify an altitude constraint here at Sizzler. So if we click that, we can select at, and we can select flight level 200, which is already set in, and we can hit that, and OK, and then back. And now we've set up to cross at 20,000 feet. And if you'll come over here to our uh, GFC 600 mode controller, we can arm VNAV. You can see VPath flashing. It's flashing over here on our TXI display as well. And you can see 20,000 feet up here selected. All right, fast forwarding a bit. We're still entering Palm Springs. We're on the approach. We're established here. I'm going to show you a few things on the TXI display. So you can see our graphical position overlaid here on our approach plate, also on our HSI inset map right here. If you look a little bit closer here on our uh, altitude tape, you can see our minimums of 2300 displayed, along with 3000 as our next uh, v VNAV constraint, and our altitude of 4000 glide path is armed. Moving over here to our mode controller, you can see that we have GPS out 4000 feet, and GP is also displayed here. And finally, here on our GTN, you can see where we are established on the approach with the TOD symbol present. And so all that's left at this point for us is to uh, continue to fly down the approach and execute a go around. In this case, the GFC 600 is capable of performing a coupled go around. So all that's left for us to do in that case is to hit the TOGA button, power up the flight director command bars, will go ahead and pitch us up and we will automatically sequence to the missed approach procedure. Thanks for visiting with us today. If you have any more questions, please visit your local Garmin dealer or visit us online at garmin.com.